Hello and welcome to another episode of watching tickers and bitmax order book. As always, remember to open a new account on bitmax, on Deribit and or on crypto facilities with my referral link which you can find below that will save you 10 to 20% of trading fees and I'll get a tiny proportion of your fees from the exchange. So I have fired up the video because there is a good amount of volatility and I'm going to show you how OKEX like here going down translates into the BitMEX order book. So here you can see that BitMEX is oversold. This went down, this didn't. Now it dumped a little bit. So every move, every market buying, market selling will influence BitMEX order book a lot. And it's a very good predictor of what will happen on BitMEX. So at the moment nothing is really happening on OKEX. Order book is heavily on the sell side. The major market makers are on the sell side. On the buy side there isn't a big one because there are some tiny tiny buy orders. Quite flat here. And this is this is OKEX slightly selling. So these two are our OKEX, this line which is OKEX weekly, which is less important than the OKEX quarterly. The OKEX quarterly has the biggest volume on, on OKEX. The other exchanges don't have really impact on the Bitcoin price, so they do have large impact long term, but short term it's OKEX and BitMEX. Bitfinex used to be everything in the past, but it's no longer really that important. So now Bitmax is pumping and OKEX is following it. But as you can see, as OKEX didn't go up, the m orders are on the sell side. So I think that the biggest entity populating the Bitmax order book is the same entity that arbitrages between OKEX and BitMEX. In the old days OKEX was the big dinosaur which was the biggest um, derivatives exchange and then BitMEX was catching up. But now it has all overtaken the OKEX marketplace. And here we go market selling on OKEX followed by large amounts of selling pressure in the order book and then BitMEX follows the dump. Same will happen when there will be some market buying on OKEX. So when OKEX will start going up, when you see the price climbing here, you will see large amount of orders on the buy side and that will be a good predictor that the price will go up. And look at this, the price, the market, the order book will start populating with buy orders because OKEX quarterly has pumped and look, the order book is now on the buy side. This is mainly because OKEX started buying. So it's kind of evening up. So my theory is that these two marketplaces predict the short term price of Bitcoin. These are the volume indicators. So you can see that, uh, well, this is volume by price. So at around 3.6K, there was this much volume on BitMEX, this much volume on OKEX weekly, this much on Coinbase Pro, this much on Bitstamp. And you can see that the amount on Bitstamp, the amount on OKEX, sorry, on Coinbase Pro is minimal. This dump, it was mainly BitMEX, OKEX, 
OKX Weekly, Bitfinex. This one is hit BTC. Yeah, it's actually increasing volume recently. And then these tiny lines are essentially nothing. So not much is happening. The line is quite flat. I can tell you what I think about the... Oh, it looks like oh, OKEX is, is selling a little bit. So I can tell you what I think about how important is price movement on different exchanges. So I believe that the let's say value of money is much lower on bitmax on okex in comparison to places like coinbase or bitstamp oh, i was looking for this so you can execute a five million cell and get only two dollar slippage and that will be the full effect on the bitcoin price so it will dump by a few dollars and it might dump by a few dollars across the board so you can sell five million dollars that is almost two thousand coins well one and a half or so and it will have almost negligible effect on the price however sell a thousand coins on Bitstamp or at 1.5 thousand coins. Here you can buy 1.5 thousand coins and barely move the price while on Bitstamp selling or buying 1.5k bitcoins will move the price by 10%. So let's say you want to move the index here. So you have GDAX, which is Coinbase Pro, Bitstamp and Kraken. So if you execute 2.4 plus 1.6 plus 1.4 that is 5.5 thousand bitcoins so if you sell 1 point uh, sorry 5.5 thousand bitcoins on these three exchanges simultaneously you will drop the price by 10 percent so that's 5 thousand coins and some stuff will be arbitraged against bitfinex and some other exchanges particularly the japanese ones and Cor korean ones <laughs> But the bottom line, you will have a spike with the price going 10% down. So that was just 5.5 thousand coins. Now this is ignoring uh, hidden orders on these exchanges. Essentially, hidden orders do exist, but uh, they are quite expensive. So people tend to use normal orders other than hidden orders. Um, most of the time, you can get a bot to act as if you, you had hidden orders. So if you are a decent size entity, you can configure a bot which does the same stuff cheaper. Um, so 5.5 thousand coins brings the price down 10%. While here, 5.5 thousand coins, that is... That is about 19 million so let's see where 19 million brings us. So that was 10%. That, that would be going price going down to um, 3.2k. While here selling 19 million would move the price to 3,512. So that's less than 2%. And I am pretty sure that selling these 5.5k coins on these exchanges would in fact drop the price by 10% at least for a short while well here it will it will drop it by 2% it will be a short spike it will even out it will immediately come up so people gamble here but they don't change price long term really so if you are to manipulate the price, if if you have uh, a lot of coins to sell, don't sell them on. And if you want to manipulate the price down, don't sell them on BitMEX, sell them on these exchanges. That will manipulate the price down more. 
same goes for taking the price up. So here you can see that OKEX is now buying, that the difference between OKEX price and the BitMEX price is narrowing, and this is why the buy side on the order book is full. These are the entities which arbitrage OKEX to uh, arbitrage BitMEX to OKEX, and we have six million dollars buys here because the OKEX quarterly and OKEX weekly is going up. And you can see that this was the difference of $20 which went to $10 here and this is why the buy side was so heavy here. Now it's going down on OKEX and the order book is kind of evening out. And this again shows how how much and how little volume you have on specific exchanges. Nearly everything is BitMEX. And Derivit is still doing very, very little volume. Alright, let's see how, how OKEX helps us uh, with our entries. So it goes down if we were looking for an entry about this time, we would probably consider a, a, a market sell. So if it starts going down, we would think about a market sell. Anyway, so this was my idea about these, uh, these exchanges and how they move together and how the entity arbitraging BitMEX to OKEX is really, really powerful. I think I will wrap it up here. As always, remember to open a new account on BitMEX on Deribit and or on um, crypto facilities with my referral link below. That will save you 10 to 20% trading fees, which will build up over time a lot. And I'll get a tiny profit from that. Thank you for your attention.